Martin Lukeman, many congratulations. You are in the quarterfinals of the Ball Sports World Grand Prix. How does that sound? It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Fight for my tour card at the beginning of the year, and I'm in the quarterfinals of a major. Is that a real <laughs> pinch yourself moment? No, I'm, I'm going to say game by game, let's do it. I'm not going to beat anyone in there on the day. You know, see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm riding a wave at the moment, and it's going good. A couple of moments in there. There was one early on in set four. Did you forget that you were going for a double and throw for the, the 20? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> and obviously the other one was the miscount. What was going through your mind at that point? And did you not hear Russ tell you what you had, or was it just a mind block? No, moment? I just, I looked at, uh, Charlie was chalking. I looked at it, and I went, all right, I thought I had, would I have 45? You had, you had 45 left. I thought I had, what did I go for, 10? You know, went for a three to leave double 16, so you thought you had 35. 35, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Well, I see the wife going, She's going to give you a bollock when you go back. Nah, she won't. I want it. She, she's happy. <laughs> I didn't let it phase me and I cracked on that last leg. I thought, right, have a deep breath and crack on. Yeah, that was my next question. Going into that last leg, what goes through your mind? Because you've missed in brackets two match starts by not throwing at what you should have been. And then know. Ross levels it up and you're in a sudden death moment. What, what goes through your mind then? To be fair, a lot of last year, if you look at my results on the Players' Championships, that amount of six fives I had and I kept losing them last leg deciders. Chizzy, Clayton's, kept 6-5, six, 6-5, five, six, five, six, five. But I learned a lot last year, as I said. And then six, I just thought, right, relax, one game of darts, 5-1, let's do it. As well for you, up to 42nd in the rankings now. 42nd now. Another 25 grand minimum now, guaranteed. What does this mean for, for you and your family? Oh, it's everything we wanted, you know, to relax now. Uh, my wife's a prison officer, so she can give that crap up. I don't want her to put in danger no more, but yeah, it's good. Also as well, Ali Pali. Let's go. How excited are you that you will be going to the World Championships? Oh, I missed out last year by, what was it, 1,100, 1,200 quid or something. But I didn't play well last year, but yeah, yeah I'm up for it. Let's do this. I've had so much stage experience this year. Um, it's game on. Let's do this. My many congratulations. Thank you, pal. Martin, the way you recovered from that miscount in the last leg, does that show your mental strength? Because a lot of players might have gone to pieces in that sort of like that. Yeah, if you watch me on stage, just close my eyes. I had a breath. I thought, right, let's go. 32, ping, let's go. <laughs> I was picking my 32 tonight again. This is only your third game on TV as well. You seem so comfortable up there. And as I said, it's Euro Tours. I've had so much experience up there. It's just, as I say, different colours, different sponsors. It's the same, same crowd, same stage. Up 16 places in the rankings. This could be a, a career-changing week for you as well. How much does this mean? Hopefully it does. I've got a big year next year to defend my nine and a half grand. So, um... <laughs> so you're almost on a free roll then? Right. I am, yeah, basically. Yeah, but I can't take that for granted. I'm, next year I've still got kicking after this year and just keep doing what I'm doing. How far do you feel you can go then up the rankings? Top 16? Yeah, why not? Look how much, what was I earlier? Liam? What was that, 110 or something? 111 beginning of the year? The only thing that happens, darts is so crazy. I that one little switch in my points done me the world of good. Nathan Aspen or Danny Knopper up next. You must be so high in confidence going into that. I've played. I've beaten Danny Knopper before. Uh, I've never played Nathan, so that would be interesting. But yeah, it's a game of darts in the day. Both got three darts in our hands. Let's go. Cheers, Mike. Well done, Cheers, pal. Jay said up to forty second in the rankings, but you feel like there's more to give. Performance was was good tonight, but you still feel like there's more gears. Oh yeah, 100%. What if I go three, four, five rounds in the World Championships or Players' Championships? You know, anything can happen. I could be in that top 32 by the end of the year. Yeah. I can just work on that. It'd be some story as well, wouldn't it? You say start of the year, but outside the top 100 and end of the year, possibly in the top 32. Oh top no, more, it's, it's absolutely wins. crazy, isn't it? I was literally fighting for my tour card, giving up my job. Like I got good back in PR, me and my family and that. So it was, yeah, it's the best thing we could have done. I think you'd probably compare the story maybe to what Rob Cross did. He obviously came off the Challenge Tours and he set the world alight on the PDC Tour. Looking oh, to yeah. emulate what Rob's done. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. I was with Rob on the Challenge Tour Yeah. before he come up here. But yeah, Rob's a good lad. Um, but yeah, well, everyone wants to do that. Become world champion on his debut. Has that ever happened before? No, it's never happened before. So he's in the history books forever now, isn't he? I might be able to nick off him. <laughs> no, look, let's see what happens. Okay. Cheers, man.